hello in this video we are going to derive hamiltonian equation of motion the hamiltonian in general is a function of a generalized coordinate generalized momentum and time the hamiltonian in general is a function of generalized coordinate generalized momentum and time t okay so h is a function of q1 q2 and q3 and so on qk qn p1 p2 and so on pk and so on pn to t or else simply we can write like this h is a function of pk qk into t So, I would like to write this Hamiltonian, just one derivative, summation of dou h divided by dou pk into dpk plus summation of dou h divided by dou q generalized coordinate into dq plus partial derivative of h divided by partial derivative of time into dt this is our equation number two from the definition of a hamiltonian function h equal to this is our hamiltonian function right h equal to momentum p generalized coordinate dot minus Lagrange this is our Hamiltonian function not Hamiltonian equation now we are going to derive the Hamiltonian equation of motion so just differentiate this one dh to one time pk dqk dot plus summation k this time k dot is constant d p k into dl this is equation number three now we know the lagrangian is a function of generalized momentum uh, generalized velocities and time right so lagrangian it is a function of generalized momentum generalized velocities and time 
or else l equal to l we can write q1 comma q2 comma and so on qk and so on qn q1 dot i mean velocity q2 dot and so on q k dot up to n system particle velocity so i would like to write this one the differentiation of lagrangian is if summation of particle derivative of a lagrangian that lies coordinate dq plus summation partial derivative of l divided by generalized velocity d q k dot plus do l divided by do t d t okay this is our equation but we know the generalized momentum p k equal to partial derivative of l divided by do q k dot and do p dot k equal to do l divided by do q k so i'm going to be using this information here okay therefore this equation is become like this dl equal to summation k partial derivative of l divided by partial derivative of a generalized coordinate that means p dot p dot k d q k plus this one is momentum i mean generalized momentum p k d q k dot plus partial derivative of l divided by partial derivative of t into dt this is our equation number four now substitute this dl equation number three here okay we'll get the final equation substitute equation number four in equation number three then you'll get this equation dh equal to partial derivative of i'm going to write this equation copy okay this place i'm going to use Here DL is said in place of DL, I'm using this one simply. Here only minus is there. So enter equation will get the minus. Okay, write down. Summation k pk dot dqk minus summation k pk dqk dot minus do l divided by do t into dt so if you look carefully here uh, maybe this one and uh, this one is going to cancel remaining one two three terms are there could write down those three terms summation q dot d p k minus p k dot d q k minus do l divided by do t dt this is our equation number five 
now compare equation number 5 into equation number 2 this is our equation number 2 right so hamilton h is a function of momentum and uh, generalized momentum co generalized uh, coordinate and time so this is our equation number 2 actually I'm going to write this equation number two here again. Okay, this is our equation number two. We miss anything? Nothing. Equation number two, dt getting cut here. T is there. Okay, this is t. So this is our equation number two. This is th. See if you clearly observe here d p place here d p is there and d q is there this is d q and in place of d t here d t is there okay so comparing equation number two and equation number five then we get this information as they highlighted earlier q dot right q dot equal to do h divided by do p k and uh, p dot k equal to here minus is a that's why i'm using here minus partial derivative of l divided by two t equal to minus two h divided by two t these are all this is equation number six these So these functions, I mean these uh, first order differential equations is known as the Hamiltonian equations. So all these equations we call Hamiltonian equations. Hamiltonian equations or we can call these equations Hamiltonian's canonical equations of motion. Canonical equation of motion. So remember these uh, formulas q dot is equal to dou h divided by dou p p dot equal to minus dou h divided by dou q dou l divided by dou t is equal to minus dou h divided by dou q okay these are the hamiltonian equation of motions not the hamiltonian function hamiltonian function is different hamiltonian equation of motion is different lagrangian function is different Lagrangian equation of motion is different. So by using these four formulas, we are going to uh, solve many um, Lagrangian Hamiltonian based problems. Okay.